chance of visiting Israel through the Mashav Ofri Center, where we were trained on a number of issues, particularly specifically on education towards sustainable development. And I learned so much, and I was excited. I was reawakened. When I came back from Israel, I realized that for me to make impact, I had to work with students. And the first thing I did was to reorganize the student government because I was not going to do it alone. With the members of my staff, together with the board of management, we worked on a new structure where we had the students' leadership based on service delivery and not the prefectship, which had been there earlier. So we, had, we identified 10 ministries, 10 areas of service. We had the Ministry of Water, Ministry of Food and Nutrition and others. Now out of this, the students became involved in finding solutions to the problems that they were having and working together to build the student structure. Through this, several projects now came up. We have piped water, but the problem that our school is situated in the slum area, and most of the time the piped water uh, breaks and some seepage, some dirt enters the piped water, and when we receive the water in the compound, it is not safe for drinking. The students were suffering from a number of waterborne diseases, diarrhea, typhoid, and they also had uh, cases of amoeba. And so this became a problem, and the number of students who were going home for treatment and wasting learning time was nearly 40% in a term. But then when we realized that we can find a solution, we came up with a modified biosand water filter. Through that process, the students themselves, they learned, they were trained, and they were able to make for themselves the filter and filter the water and now use a separate point to drink safe drinking water. And the other part of the water was for washing and other things. This has reduced the number of students' cases where we have the waterborne disease in the school. When I came back from Israel, I realized that what I used to consider to be my problems and challenges were actually my opportunities. We had a lot of rain in this land. A lot of water is being wasted and I was complaining about the field is being eroded by the excess water. Then I discovered that I can harvest that water and use that water to reduce the cost of my water bill. My eyes were opened. Futao helps me as an individual. After the harvesting, the money that I get, I, I, I use some of the money to pay school, my school fee, and also we use some of the money at home. Personally, I've gained the skills in acquiring this project. I take this knowledge back to the community and make such a food tower. So it sustains the family and also the people around me. When I was in Israel, we went to a school in Bathsheba. We were welcomed in a tent. Next to the tent was a very big building. But I was so comfortable with that tent that at that moment it struck me. Then I discovered that I needed it. When I came back to Kenya, the first thing I did was to build the Heart of Wisdom. So it changed me and my personal perception now is that my grandfathers had a lot of wisdom, had a lot of knowledge, had a lot of skills. We are thinking that they were useless. We were running away from them. But now when I came back from Israel, the things my grandfathers used to do, grandmothers used to do, became my most interesting thing, and now I'm doing them. Actually, I prefer studying here because here is cooler. Mom and Dad, they used to tell me about how they used to live in huts, how cool the huts were, and you know, I, I, never, I had never seen. So when I came to this school, that was the first time I saw the real things, and I was like, wow, so this is what they used to do those days. So it made me feel nice. I have a big dream that in the near future, 
the nation of Kenya, we will be able to change our education so that we can reach the heart, the head, and the hand. We want to know how much they know in their head. When they come out of the school, they have so much in the head, but empty in the heart and empty in the hand. My dream is that through education towards sustainable development, we will be able to change. We use the child as the transformation agent. Kenya, we have a chance to wake up.